Welcome to this series of lectures on financial statements. Uh, we're going to learn how to read and build these statements. I'm Tony Libertori from Millican University, and I'll take you through these lectures. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is look at uh, balance sheet and income statement, but the metaphor for this is baseball. We call it financial baseball. So again, let me ask you uh, if there's a runner on first base, the batter gets up and hits a clean single, where's the runner go? Second base. Well, you knew this because you had the picture of the baseball diamond in your head, and we're going to use this for uh, our explanation of financial statements. So, and the first thing you need to get started, uh, get up at home plate, what do you need to start a business? Well, what you need is money. So if you have an idea about a business, you have to raise the money for this. You go put some of your own in and borrow it, etc. But once you have the money then, you can begin to acquire the stuff to operate the business. That is, you need the buildings, equipment, inventory, etc. So this is moving to first base. So home plate, raise the money, first base, acquire the stuff. Now that you have a physical amount of capital, physical stuff, you can open the doors and do business. So that's a movement to second base. Here, you can envision opening the doors. If it's a retail shop, customers are coming in and uh, you're ringing up sales, so you generate revenue uh, at second base. Well, of course, uh, you have to pay your bills. So getting to third base, you try to control your expenses. You don't have to pay your wages and rent and taxes and other elements. Uh, so this is third base. Hopefully, when all is said and done, uh, you've acquired revenue, paid expenses, and you have something remaining that we'd call profit. And profit is something that can take you back to home. Uh, so you could use the profit again, because now you have more money in the system, to run the bases again. So this is the basic view I'd like you to keep in your head uh, for financial statements. Let's just look at it. Let me say it one more time. Home plate, uh, we're raising money. First base, we're acquiring stuff. Second base, we open the doors to do business and generate revenue. Third base, we control and pay our expenses and hopefully generate profit. Profit takes us home and we can start this process again. We can run the basis. So let's keep this in mind and begin to construct some financial statements. Now the financial statements are the scoreboards of the business and the first thing we want to do is build a balance sheet. So here you have on the right hand side of this balance sheet or T account, shape of a T, are uh, liabilities. Liabilities meaning that you're liable for it, you owe it back to people. This is the people side of the business. You raise money, this is what you owe to people. Uh, once you have raised this money that you owe to people can use it to acquire stuff. You can go to first base and acquire stuff and that we call assets. Building, equipment, etc. And this is the stuff you own. So here we have the beginning of the company. This is home plate to first base and it shows what we have to do to get started. Now raising the money can come from what you contribute to it. That's the owner's investment. We would call that equity or what you borrow from a bank or other places and this would be called debt. So you have raised money through equity and debt and all of this we would call financial capital. This is the capital or the money of the company and this is what allows you to acquire the physical assets or the stuff to start the business. Alright, so we have home plate to first base. That is our balance sheet. Now, if we have uh, a balance sheet, we know the first thing we do at home is having to raise the funds or the capital. So here I'm showing you that the owner is contributing 2000 so that would be the owner's equity or the equity in the company. And then we borrowed funds of 1000 so that's the debt of the company. and. Uh, Together, liabilities plus equity, which is called capital, is $3,000. So now we have raised 
$3,000 in equity and debt, $3,000 in capital. And home plate, now uh, we have raised funds and we're ready to move to first base and acquire assets, assemble the assets or stuff we need to operate the business. So let's go to first base and acquire some stuff. But you can see here I put in a little box that says stuff equals capital. Well if we have three thousand dollars in capital that's all the money we have to spend so we can only acquire three thousand dollars in stuff. The left hand side has to equal the right hand side since the right hand side is all the money we have to spend. So let's write some checks to start our little peanut vending business. All right. Well, uh, if you envision a little peanut vending business, you've got a cart that you need uh, to roast and sell the peanuts, and let's assume that that's fifteen hundred dollars. So out of the three thousand, you write a check for fifteen hundred. That leaves you fifteen hundred. You buy the peanuts and the salt and the other things you need for the peanuts. I'm going to make it simple so we don't have a lot of entries, but say that's all $750 uh, and that means you have remaining in your pocket $750. This is likely in a checking account at a bank. I'm just going to put it cash so that it's easier for you to, to see at this point. Uh, and now we've used the $3,000 in capital to acquire cart and peanuts and the remaining $750 in cash so we can have a little buffer to operate. So here, total assets must equal total liabilities and equity. That's the accounting statement here. You see assets equal liabilities plus equity. Great. Capital equals stuff. So now you have a pretty good idea of how we build a scoreboard for the beginning of a business. First, ba uh, first base is our stuff, assets. Home is our liabilities. These things have to equal. And now this is a stock. This is what we're beginning with. Well, we're going to go to second base and begin operations. So we need a scoreboard on our operations. And let's look at this. Uh, moving to second base, we're going to make sales. And here we're going to have what we call an income statement. That is, what sales revenue or gross income are we generating? This is sometimes called a profit and loss statement. But you open the doors. Uh, and you begin to sell peanuts. So you, you may have uh, a little vending shop at an airport, you may be doing it on the corner of the street, etc. But now you have customers coming in and they're buying your peanuts. Uh, so if you're selling bags of roasted peanuts, you collect the revenue uh, and uh, hopefully your customers are happy. But here, let's assume that you have been in business, say, for one week because we, we have to know the period of time for which this is activity is taking place. Well, let's say you have $3,000 in revenue for the week. The income statement then, as opposed to the balance sheet, shows us the flow of activity on a daily basis. So the, the income statement shows the flows, what's moving through the operation. The balance sheet, if we back up and think about home plate first base, this is what we're starting with. It's the stock. So we've amassed the capital, the financial capital and the physical equipment, etc., cetera, to, to operate. That's the stock of what we have. And then we use this to start to generate our daily activity or the flow of business through our door. So we have stocks and flows here. Now, second base then, uh, we have revenue here of 3000 uh, We have to turn around and pay our workers and rent and other elements. That is, we have uh, expenses and bills to pay and for us that is third base and we have a couple pieces in here that we'd like to look at first of all you've sold the peanuts let's assume you've you sold all the peanuts you had which was seven hundred and fifty dollars uh, so out of that three thousand seven fifty goes back to repurchase the peanuts and that leaves you what we call a gross profit of two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars so this is the accounting language it should be pretty straightforward for you sales less our cost of the goods we're selling that is the less the peanut cost gives us gross profit and any company with inventory will have this kind of an income statement sales less the cost of the goods sold 
gives us gross profit. Now, out of gross profit, then, we must pay our bills. Now, you walk into a convenience store and you buy some chips and gum. Well, that convenience store is taking the revenue in, but it must turn around and replace that revenue so it has cost of goods sold and it has some kind of gross profit margin. Now, our expenses, expenses in, in the income statement are defined as the elements in it. Uh, you can think about it just from envisioning the peanut stand. You, know, you have somebody working, you have to pay for that. You have rent for the space or rent for keeping the cart somewhere. Uh, you, you might have other expenses. You have to maintain the cart, etc. We're just going to keep it simple for now and assume that the expenses of operating in this weekly period were $1,500. So you write checks out of your cash that we had shown in the balance sheet. You write checks to pay your bills and they're $1,500. So what you have left then after your expenses is the net income or the net profit. We have gross profit up at the top, pay all our expenses and we come to the bottom. We have what's called net income or profit. Normally you pay taxes on this, but we're going to skip that piece just to keep it simple. So you've acquired uh, customers and their revenue. They voluntarily give you this, so you have to do a good job to get it. And at the end, after controlling expenses at third pay base, you've generated 750 in profit. Now this profit will take you back to home plate because this is money or capital that can be reused in the business and you can run the bases again. So here we have the kind of basic view of say one inning of baseball or one period of operating in our little peanut. Pin. Now let's go around the bases here one more time to just summarize this. So home plate we acquire capital money. In this case, we have equity of 2000 That's what the owners put in. And we borrowed 1000 say, from a bank of $1,000, so we have $3,000. So here I've changed the title of this. You can see this, the label. I've called it a note payable. So the debt from the bank means we go in and we sign a, a note or a contract saying, I will pay you back. So borrowing money from a bank uh, is often called a note payable. So I've changed the language a little bit here. We'll learn the language as we go through. So we have equity and a note payable for total capital uh, of 3000 This is all the money that we have available at home plate to get started. And then we're going to move to first base and acquire our assets. Again, we have $3,000 in assets. The cart's 1500 The peanuts are 750 We've written checks for that. We have $750 left in the bank. We need some money to operate, so we need this cushion. Uh, and now we have total assets of 3000 Again, the amount of stuff you can have is determined by the amount of capital you have. So these things must balance. Assets have to equal liabilities plus equity. Well, this is the stock. This is the beginning. This is what we have to get started. And now we're going to open our doors and generate sales, hopefully. And for that, we need an income statement. It's showing the activity, say, for example, for one week, the flow of customers and revenue uh, coming through the business. And here's the top line in our income statement, 3000 right. Getting to third base, we pay our bills. And summarize those as sales less the cost of the peanuts gives us gross profit less our expenses gives us our net income or profit and the profit then takes us back to home and it can be reused or contributed back into the system and here it would enter the balance sheet once again and we could run the basis. So here is our beginning view of the scoreboards or financial statements of a business. Should be pretty clear to you. Let's just run through that here one more time. You have the baseball diamond in your head. At home we're raising capital. At first, we're acquiring assets. At second, we're open the doors to operate and generate revenue. At third, we're paying our bills and controlling our expenses. And the net income we earn takes us back home. Uh, this provides more capital and we can run the bases again. And this is the essential 
scoreboard for a business. It looks pretty simple. I think you can see this. We'll begin to make it a little more complex in uh, other lectures. But try to run through some examples on your own. Drop some numbers in. Make up your own example so that you can see how it works. That should be pretty straightforward. The number should balance for you because it's. if you think about it as an actual business person, starting the business, that you would learn this automatically. We're just taking a shortcut saying, oh, I don't have to experience it. I can see it here and understand it before I experience it. Right. Well, I'll see you in the next lecture, and we'll begin to build on these accounts, these income statements and balance sheets to get uh, more sophisticated scoreboards for the business. See you at the next lecture.